And now, your first alert five weather. We saw record-breaking temperatures specifically for Pueblo yesterday, but with a little bit of a different story for today. These are the current temperatures as of right now. Specifically for the springs, we're around 79 degrees. We've cooled off quite a bit, especially from yesterday. 96 in Pueblo, and we're finally getting down into those upper 90s for the plains. They saw some of those mid-hundreds yesterday. Er, earlier today. So they Lamar saw 106 degrees earlier, but along I-25 right now we're starting to slowly cool down. There's only one county in a heat advisory until 7 p.m. tonight, and that's going to be for Pueblo County. Again, it's going to go until 7 p.m. tonight, but we are seeing some showers in the area. There's not a whole lot going on. Uh, in terms of thunder and lightning, it's really just some light showers that are moving across I-25 right now in one just south of Lamar, um, but we'll that'll start to change once we get into tomorrow. But in terms of temperatures specifically for the springs, we're going to be 86 for tomorrow. The average is just a few degrees cooler, so we're right around that average for where we should be this time of year. Um, we should be getting around 86 degrees for that high. Now for that severe weather outlook, we do have a chance of seeing some stronger storms tomorrow, specifically in this shaded yellow region right here. This is going to be a slight risk, which is a level two out of five. And I know that kind of seems like it's more on the low end of things, but we still could see some significant threats with this. Specifically, hail and wind seem to be the main threat with some of these storms. They could be a little bit more isolated, but we also can't rule out a brief tornado or two. Now, this is the storm impact scale. I have it at three right now, so if you have any outdoor plans, you might want to change them. Uh, again, some of the threats that we could see up to golf ball size tail and 60 mile an hour winds possible. Doesn't mean we're for sure going to see that. That's just what some of these storms could end up producing. So we could see some scattered storms and some severe storms tomorrow. Um, but let's play this out to show you where we're going to be seeing these storms. So this is going to be around 215. We could start to see some more isolated sprinkles along I-25 and north of Colorado Springs. But once we get into around dinner time, we could start to see some of these storms really pick up, especially in the Colorado Springs area. So be prepared for that. We could see a little bit of some stronger storms going through that area. And then once we get to around that 11 p.m. hour, those storms will eventually make their way out into the plains and towards Walsenburg. We could see some of those storms ramp back up overnight lows tonight. 59 for the spring, 64 for Pueblo and some lower 60s, upper 60s for the plains out towards the mountains. We're going to mean those lower 50s. Some of us even in those upper 40s. Highs for tomorrow, much more comfortable than what we saw today. So 86 for the springs, around the same mark for Pueblo. And then some upper 80s, lower 90s for the plains. So significant relief for the plains. And then out towards the mountains, some lower 80s. So it's still a little bit warm for the mountains for this time of year. Colorado Springs, your seven day forecast is going to look like this. 86 for tomorrow. I have that storm impact scale at a three. So remember, make alternate plans and we could see up to 60 mile an hour wind gusts, maybe some golf ball sized hail mixed in there. Pueblo 94 for tomorrow. We have a few chances of seeing some showers in the area. Canyon City will be holding on to those 90s really until Wednesday and we'll